It doesn't matter who you vote for, they're all the same. Now, why do I say that? I say that especially to wake up these UK conservative voters. Um, so far, asleep is unreal. They're in a deep, deep sleep, and they need to wake up quick. Man. Lib Lab Con, they're all one big party, and I'll tell you why they're all one big party. So when we had the lockdown, every single party all went along with the lockdowns there wasn't one party there was no opposition there wasn't any parties that actually stood up and said hey i don't think this is a good idea i don't think it's a good idea to crash our economy over a virus that has a 99.7 percent survival rate i don't think it's a good idea to crash these small businesses and then make them take a fifty thousand pound bounce back loan to which they got to pay interest on in a year's time i don't think it's a good idea to stop families from seeing loved ones on their deathbeds i don't think it's a good idea to stop hospital appointments i don't think it's a good idea to stop seeing people who are terminally ill over a virus that's a 99.7% survival rate. There wasn't one party that stood up for its people. There wasn't one party that stood up and said, this is wrong. The only party that I heard of was the Heritage Party, the party that I joined a while ago. And they're not a mainstream party. They're not pushing UN Agenda 2030. The mainstream parties are. They're all pushing Agenda 2030. All of them. They're all pushing a Green New Deal. Look at the Conservatives, the Conservative Party. You know, did you vote for Net Zero? Did you? No, you didn't, did you? Did you vote to take back control of your borders? Did you vote for mass uncontrolled immigration to come to an end? Of course you did. And every single time there's a new leader of the Conservative Party, they always talk tough about mass uncontrolled immigration and they do nothing. They do absolutely jack. Over the last 25 years, we've seen more mass uncontrolled immigration into this country than we have the last 2,000 years. And the Conservatives have been in power for 12 of those years. Just let that sink in. They're lying to you and you're still voting for them. I tell you what, do me a favour, yeah? Let me five grand. I'll pay you back tomorrow. It's the same principle. You're being mugged off. Just wake up, for God's sake. It's the same party. You're waiting for the same. I hear the same old argument. Oh, I don't want to vote for one of those other parties because it will split the vote. Well, if everyone did it, if everyone said, you know what, Conservative Party, you've been lying to us for 12 years. You've been making all these promises and you've been pushing all this lefty bullshit and you've been pushing all this green agenda stuff. I didn't vote for that. I didn't vote to lose my job. I didn't vote for this. And everybody stood up and said, actually, we're going to vote for another party. Bye bye. You wouldn't be splitting a vote, would you? Wake up. They're all the same. They're all pushing the same agenda. UN Agenda 2030. And that's what's happening. We're all going to end up with a digital currency. We're all going to end up with like a, a one world government, a one world banking system. We're going to lose more of our freedoms. We're going to lose more of our liberties before it's too late. They're all the same. Wake up. <laughs>